Class of 09. Where do I begin? Class of 09 was released on June 10th, 2021, and was created by developer SBN3. This game is an anti-visual novel, which instead of you playing as some guy magically able to score with beautiful anime girls, you play as the anime girl and create mass chaos in the lives of your potential suitors. Earnest comedy, social accuracy, and late 2000s aesthetics. The game itself received a lot of positive reviews, calling the game very comedic. Because of the success of Class of 09, the game got a spin-off called Class of 09 The Rhea. Like the previous game, the game had also received some positive reviews as well too. And because Class of 09 The Rhea success, SBN3 was so generous enough to give us a third installment to the Class of 09 series with this. This is the flip side. Class of 09, the flip side. I'm not gonna lie, that opening literally slaps. Class of 09, the flip side came out on September 23rd, 2024, which is also the day after I turned 18. So thank you, SBN3, for the late birthday gift. In Class of 09, the flip side, instead of following our protagonist, Nicole, we instead follow her best friend, Jekka. And her life in this game sucks. Literally, the entire plot of this game is basically Jekka's life being literal hell, having been abused by her literal dad, forcing her to get a job, and the endings. Uh, do I really have to explain the endings of this game? The endings in this game are not very good, because most of the endings have horrible outcomes for Jekka. One of the endings shows Jekka getting traumatized after walking in on Nicole hanging herself. One other ending is Jekka herself because Nicole betrayed her. And this ending is probably the worst one in my opinion. Jekka being sold off as a sex slave and being engaged in human trafficking. That's right. This game is so depressing and way darker. Like, there was no good ending for Jekka, but the only good ending was when Jeffrey died, so I guess you can say that was a good ending, but I don't know. She really needed a good friend, and Nicole literally just did the foot thing with Jekka's father. Oh, did I also mention that there's a lot of foot fetishes in this game? Nicole was literally betrayed as a literal bitch, and she was one of the reasons why Jekka committed Yet, does Nicole care? She probably wouldn't even care if Jekka died. And the saddest part is that Jekka was so sad when Nicole committed and actually did care what people thought about her and didn't forget her after her death. Damn. You really could feel Jekka's in pain, and she could never get a break. Sorry, SBN3, but this game is a fucking disappointment.